Hello, I am Swamya Rai from Commerce Department and today's topic is MBO Management by Objective. Now let's get started. So MBO is a strategic model that aims to improve the performance of an organization by aligning the goals and objective of individual employees with the overall mission and vision of the company. Which means that employees personal goals and professional goals are aligning with the companies they are working in and they are coming together and working as a team for the vision and mission of the company so there is no professional goals and organizational goals they all are moving in the same direction for achieving the same goal and uh, for achieving the organizational goal the employees personal goal and professional goals are aligning and teaming up with the organizational goals so this concept of mbo was given by peter drucker uh, and he said that this is not a management tool but is an approach which should be used by organization for the development and growth of the employees as well as for the development and overall growth of the organization he gave this concept in his book the journal management principle in 1954 peter drucker and uh, emphasis that importance of aligning of individual and organizational goal now you think when you are working an organization when you think you are just an employee of an organization and you are a part of an organization which one would you prefer every employee every person who is working in an organization wants to become part of that organization they don't just want to be the employee of the organization you have to do what your bosses said you have to do what your manager said no one likes that everyone wants to be a part of the team so when organization is working together with the employees goals and they are not just try to achieve the organizational goal they try to achieve the individuals goals of the employees when individual feels when employee feels that my manager my organization is thinking about me and my professional growth and development they will definitely going to perform better they will definitely going to do a work mo more harder for the organizational goals and that will come from their heart that is not just they've been forced they will not feel exploited so when organizational goals and individual goals are coming together aligning together that's what peter drucker says that that is management by objective when you're moving towards the uh, uh, common goal of organization and individual there is no two different uh, goals which is professional goals and organizational goals united states george odenham says that this concept is talking about the relationship between the superior and subordinate meaning the ma uh, manager and his team members and this concept is working as a guide for operating the unit and assessing the contribution of each member in that team so we are not just talking about the manager we are not talking about only the team leaders because most of the times only team leaders get the recognition the person who is working uh, with the ma manager or the leader they don't do not get their dues so this is addressing that problem that everyone whatever they are contributing that should be addressed that should be uh, recognized in a team john hummels of uk says that this system which integrates the company's needs to achieve the goals with the manager needs to contribute and develop themselves and placing greater emphasis on corporate planning so this mbo is not just talking about uh, manager's goals but also talk about a corporate planning which managers needs to do and uh, they need to uh, define to achieve organizational goals now why do we need mbo so there are three basic needs to uh, do mbo first one is overcome overcoming organizational uh, barriers second one is aligning individuals and organizational objective and third one is emphasizing on result uh, oriented activities now let's discuss the first one overcoming organizational barriers so every organization whether it's a big uh, multi million organization or a very small organization every organization suffer from their internal hiccups and this is the biggest barrier in the growth of an organization so to achieve that we need to remove or we need to work on the removal of those internal barriers uh, such as uh, managers specialization their salary their miscommunication whatever their internal misunderstanding and hiccups are there mbo needs to address that second one is individual and organizational objectives this is the biggest challenge for every or organization that aligning their vision and mission with the individual goals or rather individual goals should align with in organizational objectives 
so when they think that when employees think that they are not just working in an organization they are not just employee organization they are part of a family they are part of a team then only they can grow together so this is the biggest uh, mission or the biggest, uh, biggest objective of mu and the third one is emphasis on overall result activity so any activity is not producing or any activity it is not oriented towards the uh, objective of the organization that should be eliminated that should be discarded next the key concept of mbu there are five key concept listed here emphasis on the result rather than the activities objective for specific managerial position participation or joint objective setting identification of key result areas and establishment of periodic review system now we, i will discuss all of these one by one first one is emphasis on re uh, results rather than the activity so any activity which is not producing the result here results meaning the objective which are defined and designed to achieve organizational goals which should be removed or dropped okay to so, and this is the biggest challenge for every man manager that this is not a just a uh, removal of any uh, diagram or removal of any uh, uh, furniture in the office this is the change of the mindset of people that i have to do which activities which are very much result oriented i have to do activity which will give me an outcome okay so this emphasis on the activities should be very important and that is a first part of mbu now role of a manager so to achieve an uh, objective uh, to achieve a management a greater management every manager is important and any place any organization any great organizations are built by great managers great people who work there so it is very important to give managers a clear objectives and objectives which are clearly defined and clearly communicated and those objectives should be be a measurable objectives and should be achieved within the time limit so a measurable objective should be given to any manager and within the time limit he should be given a target that within this much time you have to achieve this objectives objectives just like mere words like improve quality improve this improve that this will this is not these are not the measurable terms how much you want to prove which what percentage you want to prove so that should be clearly communicated clearly stated to the manager and within what time limit uh, a manager is expected to achieve that goal that should be also clearly stated participation of manager so participation of manager is very much important and every manager should every concerned manager should pay attention to the emphasis of that particular team how he is motivating his team members how his team members are performing and what are the decisions he is taking to improve the performance of their team member should be clearly stated key result area this is the most important part of an mbo so these key results areas are very much important and critical areas for success of any organization and key results areas are identified for each managerial position as well as the functional position and they should serve as a specific uh, setting points for objective of an organization there are two types of key results area one is common another one is specific these common uh, results area are pro uh, profitability market standing innovation productivity work performance financial and physical resources managers performance and development and public responsibilities so these are common for every company working anywhere around the world so every country uh, every company has this common key results areas now specific or customized key results areas are those results area which are very much specific to that company that organization and that would depend upon the industry they are working the market structure they are working and the strategic points uh, priorities they have made for themselves so success of any mbo based on these key results uh, areas and generally the specific ones so these customized kras ensure that the focus is on the most critical areas of organization and their success is very much important for the success of mbo now linking this kras with the organization objective so there are different level of uh, kras at different level and all of these must be 
linked with the overall organizational objectives and there should be hierarchical approach like every manager every team member everyone should move towards the achievement of common goals of the organization growth establishment of periodic review so reviews are very much important for the success of an mbo and there should be periodic reviews must be taken like every after 3 months 6 months or a year there should be continuously reval process should be there for checking that how much uh, success uh, has been achieved how much objectives have been achieved now we must not confuse the mbo the management by objective this performance reval with the uh, and this mbo reviewal with the performance appraisal system this should not has to do with the performance appraisal this must not be confused with that now mbo process there are three steps process uh, setting objectives action planning and performance review so setting objectives so we have to define the key result areas and set measurable specific objective within those areas this is done at the corporate level strategic level and operational level and each level has to arrive their objectives second one is action planning this next step is to develop the action planning and the outline the specific steps responsibilities resources timelines required to achieve this objective performance reviews regular performance reviews are critical components of an mbo and this provide a measuring mechanism for the success of an organization benefits of an mbo so these are the few benefits of an mbo first one is alignment second one is improvement performance improved communication and employee development so benefit of an mbo alignment mbo aligns the individual and the organizational goals together and they work towards a common purpose improve in performance so the focus is much more team oriented and they are aligning in a much more structured way so the team is moving in a very structured way many uh, many uh, result oriented way so the performance of of course uh, employees will definitely improve communication since the objectives are clearly stated and managers are continuously encouraging their or uh, uh, their subordinates so there is lots of more communication clear communication and motivation to achieve their organization objective mbo helps in employees development and this is identified by giving them proper training and development and giving them opportunity for growth and up, up, uh, improvement now what are the challenges so every mbo face challenges first one is resistant to change so every human being has certain limitation of resistance to change so mbo is a very result oriented activity so this change of mindset is very much important for success on a mbo second one is establishing realistic objectives there are times when companies or manager may set a very unrealistic uh, objective for an organization so there should be checked that objectives are very realistic and third one is maintaining the review process at times review process is very time consuming and very difficult for small organization uh, sorry very difficult for complex organization so there should be uh, checked that review process should be made simple and there should be a timely review process thank you so very much